Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of our Mega Hood series. We are starting Vernaville with this cup family. In the previous episode I kinda said, I don't know if I said but I kinda thought about moving Hal alone. But I noticed there are not too many people in his house so I sent some of his money back and moved him in here. You want to marry off six children, I don't know if that's gonna happen, especially that you have like five children and nobody is married yet. I mean, most will be eventually. I kinda plan how to be, to be married at the start of next rotation, but I don't know if Albany is gonna make it. Ariel ages up in two days, so she may go to college or, or just age up. What is your lifetime? Become criminal master, mate. <laughs> you need one body skill for your job. I guess you can go outside, jump rope and stuff. And go. Okay. Oh, he got a promotion as well. I thought it was only Habisa. Alright. He was so excited about his job that he didn't even make it. Probably, yeah, she got a promotion. I was trying so hard, but she got a promotion by a chance card. I, d I don't complain, but yeah, I was calling random people just to get friends. <laughs> okay, after paying bills, we still have enough money for college, so I guess I'll send Ariel. Okay, propose engagement. So Albany sees it. He's gonna be probably happy because he's a family sim, but but he seems to dislike Eclipse, so I don't know. Oh wow, that's quite long relationship. But at least he has the one fulfilled. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just check your scholarships. Maybe I'll have something interesting. Nothing. Okay. So I have to subtract wholesome. Wholesome. <laughs> Five thousand scale. Whole thing. Okay. So now we pay for her college. She's gonna go no matter what, pretty much. Okay. Let's let's move you to college. You have nothing to lose here. And we'll see you at the end of rotation. And I assume Alvani won't die yet. By the fact he's quite old, I guess he'll live like two more days. So if we'll marry off everyone in this rotation, then maybe he'll make it. I mean, I won't marry Ariel, of course, because she's in college. So I don't know. Oh, she wants to reach top of her career. Do we have a driveway? Yeah, we do. I want to buy a car, but I don't know what. The cheapest one, nah. We want to buy some clothes though, so I'll go to a community lot and see what they have. Veronaville. Veronaville Market, okay. She wants to buy new clothes. I don't know if she wants them for her adulthood or for her elderhood or maybe for someone else. I have no idea. I'll just buy something, anything. I kinda want to match her style, so she likes red. She's Chinese for some reason. I, I I don't know what her style is. Let's show me how you look in this. This looks more like pyjama for some reason, like... I don't know. I'll keep it. I mean, I bought it for you as an elder, so I won't, I won't change it yet. But I'll change your outwear. Because I have this now. Yeah, go home. Okay, she wants to reach max level of her career, so 
She needs some skills for that. She goes to work tomorrow and next day. I play till Friday, so I guess, yeah. I will work on her skills. Maybe she'll get a promotion these two days. Okay, you need two friends and quite some skills to get another promotion. Oh, the intelligence. So you can walk to work right away. And you're probably gonna get a promotion in first day. Oh, she got a lot of money and a promotion. So we're rich now. Alright. And she fulfilled her lifetime want. I don't know if it isn't first semen or mega hood that got their lifetime want fulfilled. And it started snowing. You want to become a spice pirate now? I want to focus on making another lifetime one for you. I may change it to like make 100,000 or something like that. So, like, nothing I should really focus on, but something I could do in the meantime. Okay, here it is. Okay, she wants to buy a car again and buy new clothes. I locked that in, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. So, a new car. We could give you the expensive car, I guess, red one, maybe. Well, you're the owner now. And you can get a lot installed. I got a promotion his first day, as I thought. Oh, and he died. I thought he's gonna survive one more day. But yeah, he won't. <laughs> Hal doesn't seem to care too much. And he fell down the stairs. So yeah, Albany died. That wasn't really expected. I mean, it could be expected, so I don't complain. He was pretty old. I thought he was going to survive one more day, but it's alright, he didn't. Okay, Verona, we have a cemetery, I guess. Old cemetery, I don't know if it's that. Verona cemetery. I guess that's the one. Alright, let's send them to sleep. I may change it a little after this rotation at the beginning of next one because, well, I'm gonna run a single now and Hal will have Glaive moving in with him here. So I could, like, change it around a little. I could kinda change here so this space is more useful. Because for now I can either do it like that, like, I can make it one big bedroom. I can do much more with it. Gona is gonna use her days off to to gain some skills that she has missing because she got her promotions by luck. So she could get like some logic, some charisma, and some creativity. It's seven already, so let's just go to another family then. We are at our second family and they have pretty much no furniture. They have some kid stuff in, the, in their inventory, but I don't think they need it at the moment. They go to work today later, like now, so they should have some money when they come back. So let's not worry about that now. And don't worry about the house too much, I'll edit it with time when they have money and stuff. You're still gamer, you want to become a rock god. I guess it's... About time I should find you your correct job. And they got some new visitors despite being at work. So I guess we won't greet them. Even though Ern and Kristen sound like somewhat good friends to have, I guess. I don't know about Alejandro. But yeah, they'll go away. Okay, I already spent whole money for some basic furniture like table and two chairs and I don't think they have a phone so I could buy that before anything else 
Oh, they can afford one yet. So let's sell this because you don't need it. Oh, and I wanted to paint this wall. Let's buy the cheapest one because it doesn't matter too much. She wants to be saved from death. Defeat Grim Reaper. We could do that as well. Gamer, okay. You can get the career you're already in, but at lower level. If she dies, then we'll save her. If not, then... Oh wow, it would be unlucky. She doesn't seem too interested in dying. Okay, maybe there's a... Maybe there's a higher chance in the evening when it's dark. I don't know, I have no idea. I never had my sins die by satellite on purpose. Okay, I thought it was it. No, it wasn't. You're gonna lay like that until 10 or until you wake up by yourself. Okay, it's 10. Go to sleep. Oh, then it's got a promotion. Really good to hear. Does that mean she has the Grim Reaper's phone already or... Yeah, she does. Okay. Let's place it like here for now. Alright, I spent quite some money to buy this couch. And I bought some windows. I didn't really like how they were placed. So I moved some and bought a few. Okay, I guess... I don't know if I like how it looks. It would probably look better if there was a wall or something. For, for now I'll keep it like that. We'll see later. Alright, it's 7 a.m. Which means the bot is gonna look for a job once again and... Then we're gonna go to the last family for today. Is there any career for you? Natural scientist, slacker and criminal? No, not really. So let's go to the to the last family, to the bachelors. All right, so we are at the at the goths. I mean, not goths. It's bachelors, but I still goth for some reason. And Kyle is almost invisible because I forgot to delete some defaults. But that's not a problem, so I won't worry about that. We are broke, so I can't potty train him. I wanted to. Invite Tango to move in in this episode, so we're gonna do that. I kinda hope they'll find a better place because this is quite small. But they don't have money, and I know Tango doesn't have either. So it's gonna be interesting. They will age up in this episode. I'm saying that right away because I'm pretty sure they won't make like 10,000 to send them both to college. Maybe by some miracle we'll send one of them to college. But for sure not both. Okay, propose, move in. I almost pressed marriage. They could get married, but no. Okay, he brought 10 simulants. Do you have any job? Yeah, you are a robber. Random thing, but I usually had Canon Tanko as blonde. Not because it suits him or anything. I mean, it kind of does, but... Mainly because both of his parents are blonde, so it makes no sense he's technically black hair. Where is Tango? Playing outside in the puddles, of course. You can't teach me anything, do you? Oh, your relation is re really low. You want to have your first kiss, and I don't remember if you are paired with anyone. You don't have any friends. I mean, you have friends, but you don't have anyone you have chemistry with. I know Milton is supposed to be with Lucy, so that's not something I worry about. I think he probably will move out as soon as he ages up. So like, at the end of dissertation when I play burps. Okay, you still have quite low relation, but at least you can now teach him how to walk. You'll do it later though, because you are... Well, you're not, but he is tired. Can we buy an easel? We can buy the cheap one and we can buy the, buy the keyboard, even cheaper one. I forgot space is also a problem. You have an interesting pyjama, but I won't complain, I won't change it. Teach him how to walk. I love when my sims are sick because they are wasting 
a lot of time and they cancel almost every action I tell them to do. Okay, Bella is here. Let's introduce yourself to the neighbors while you smell bad and... Yeah, Joe Carr, as I thought. So it's a pleasant view town, not someone generated. Check him out. And give him a high five, so... So you know, you have two balls. Nice. What happened here? Okay, I know what happened. He wanted to take out the trash and she blocked him. Alright. Alright, time for you two to, wa to age up, not wake up. Age up. That's an interesting style. Not the biggest fan of it. I guess we can age up these two default townies with you. And he wants to guard Fairchild. Nah. We want to move out, so that's what we're gonna do later. You want to max out seven skills, so it doesn't really require a degree. You you don't require one either, so it's not too bad you didn't go to college. I won't check your I won't check or change your outfits because we're broke. I mean we could afford new one. Okay, I'm gonna buy new outfits. Alright, so Milton gets pretty much what he had, nothing too unusual, and he looks pretty cute, he has that nose, I assume it's Bella's because it's from her side, his grandma has that one, so yeah, but it doesn't look too bad, I like it, people complain about it, but for me it's okay. He looks more like Bella, I must say. And I bought her this stuff. Oh, she also had this, I didn't know, but this is better. And she looks like this. I consider changing her looks a little, but I'm unsure. I guess she can have this one, I guess. It makes sense, somewhat. Yeah, let's go with it. You can introduce yourself to the neighbor, maybe you have something with Mr. Carr. You seem to have chemistry. Two balls, okay, okay. I wonder what aspiration does he have because... Okay, now it's over. Because I was about to say that a family sim and a woman sim have the same amount of chemistry with him. You two may be together, unless I find someone else in the meantime. Okay, how about the kid? Kyle, Kylie, enter. Okay, now he knows how to walk, so let's put him in the crib and go to sleep yourself. I hope he won't die in this rotation. Then I won't even really need to move them out, because after Milton moves out, then Tango dies, they will just have quite a lot of space for just Bella, Enriqueta and the kid. If I move Milton out, we can place crib here, so it's gonna be better. Nobody goes to work or anything. Oh, he does. Tango goes to work. Did I... Yeah, I guess I recycled the newspaper. So we have to wait till the morning to move you out. Because we can't afford a computer. Oh no, we have newspaper. But it's on sidewalk and almost invisible. So go find your own place, you're gonna move out. Okay, now everyone is in one room again, but it looks less less clogged and we don't have crib in the in the hall, in the downstairs. And Tango seems to have one more day left. So we'll see him in next rotation because this is one. This is one. This is last day of current one. So that's gonna be all for today's episode. We already have 6 rotations started, that's quite a lot. Before we end this one I want to say that I I might skip like week or two in the episode. I'll try not to, but I, if I skip week or two at the end of June then not worry about it, I will come back as soon as possible. 
I'll try to record it in advance, but if I don't make it, then yeah, I'll have to skip week or two. But anyway, as I was about to say, we had three families today, Albany died, Ariel moved out, Hal came back, not much happened at the other cups, like they bought some furniture. And they are not too broke anymore. And what happened here? Tango moved in, twins aged up and that's all, I guess. We managed to teach the little Kyle something. Hopefully it's gonna get better from there. As I was saying, I kinda plan to record in advance, but you can always leave your suggestions in the comments. I read every comment and I may or may not apply these suggestions if I really like them. So yeah, leave any suggestions and opinions in the comments and see you next episode. See you next Wednesday. Bye.